welcome viewers to another episode on ASUG 12 exams. So in this episode we continue looking at the August 2022 Science Paper 1 which is basically all level physics. Let us look at question B7. Figure B7.1 shows the brightness of the electromagnetic radiation with different wave length. So what we have, we, are, we have brightness on the vertical axis, then a wavelength on the X axis. So question A from the graph determine the wavelength where the radiation is brightest. So we are looking for where it is the brightest. So in this case, basically, as we, uh, we move upward on the vertical axis, the brightness increases. Then as you move away from the zero along the uh, x-axis, the wavelength increases. So in this case now, let us see where brightest is happening. So the brightest uh, radiation is at this point, which is uh, basically or two subunits after uh, this one. So now in between here there are 10 subunits and they are increasing by 1.0 times 10 to the power negative 6. So what it means is if this is a 1, each subunit is basically 1 divided by 10 which is a basically 0 0.1 multiplied by 10 to the power negative 6. That's what each one means. So 2 is just basically multiply this by 2 which will give us a point. 2 times 10 to the power negative 6. That's what each subunit mean. But because it's after this one, so to this one we add this. So we're going to end up with a basically 1.2 because the powers are the same. Then multiply by 10 to the power negative 6. So this one is basically the wave length in meters. Remember, this is in meters. So basically, this is how you answer this to get one mark. Question B. If the wavelength of visible light rays are between 4.0 times 10 to the power negative 7 meters and 7.0 times 10 to the power negative 7 meters. So this one is a much more smaller than the one that we've found. What is the name of radiation in A above? So what we notice in this case are the visible light as this, which is basically slight uh, smaller than the one that we have in here. So this one is slightly bigger. So for us to identify the type of radiation that we are dealing with in this case, uh, what we need to do is basically uh, length them. So remember how to remember the uh, electromagnetic spectrum is basically uh, to use the phrase rich men in Vegas use expensive gadgets. So basically ARA which is rich men is basically radio, then men is microwave, then I use easy in this case um, infrared rich men in Vegas so infrared so uh, we have now visible light which is Vegas use which is ultraviolet expensive gadget which is uh, in this case x-ray then gadget itself is gamma rays so this is how you arrange them so now uh, what happens is uh, basically in terms of uh, wavelength so wavelength increases from gamma rays to uh, radio waves. So this it increases in this direction. So in terms of uh, wavelength, gamma rays of course the smallest, the shortest wavelength. Then radio waves as are the largest wavelength. So now what we know is this one is smaller than uh, the one that we've calculated. So the one we've calculated is bigger. So if it's bigger, basically. And we are told that this one is in visible light. Then uh, the next one will be basically infrared, which is in a slightly bigger than the visible light. So in this case, we notice that this will be a uh, infrared. So infrared is basically uh, the radiation we are talking about. 
Okay, so having identified that, we can proceed to the uh, next one, which is C Roman numeral 1. Calculate the frequency of the radiation in A. Take speed of light to be as 3 times 10 to the power 8 meters per second. So we are given uh, the frequency. Then remember, we just uh, calculated um, the wavelength. Then we know that uh, the relationship is velocity is equal to wavelength multiplied by frequency. Then the question is asking us to calculate the frequency. So frequency is given by a uh, velocity over wavelength. So in this case, what we have in what is velocity is 3 multiplied by 10 to the power 8. Then divide by uh, we have calculated this is a uh, the wavelength, which is uh, basically 1.2 times 10 to the power negative 6. So because uh, the powers are always to the power 10, what we do is we have just now 3 over 1.2, then multiply by 10, then to be 8 minus negative 6 to be plus 6, because this one 8 minus a negative to become a positive. So we know that uh, basically 3 divided by 2 is basically 2.5. So we're going to have 2.5 then multiply by 10 to the power um, 14 is as in basically the frequency. So basically this is how you answer this question. Let us move to a Loman numero 2. State one use of the radiation in A, which is infrared. So remember we have identified this one to be infrared. So what's the so what's the use of infrared? So infrared are basically uh, one are used in remote control. So used in remote control, they used for TV and the, uh, other appliances in the homes are uh, used infrared. Number two, just in case we are asked to give more than one, uh, infrared basically used to detect special temperature. So special temperature used to detect detect special temperature. So even in those machines that are used to detect high temperature during uh, the COVID pandemic, they used uh, infrared. Number three, uh, infrared are uh, also used uh, in sensors uh, on satellites and aircraft for weather forecasting. So these sensors of course are uh, infrared sensors that uh, give signal regarding the uh, weather forecast. So infrared sensors in temperature stroke weather forecasting. So these are some of the key uses. So basically this is how you answer this question to get uh, the five marks. So please join me as I look at question B8 in the next episode.